If you know who Blake Wilkie from Shreddy Life is, or ever watch a YouTube video of a Volkswagen pre-runner style Baja Bug whipping through San Diego, then you already know of him without even knowing it. And I bring up Wilkie because he almost exclusively runs Gladiator XCOM tires. As I started searching the Gladiator tire company, I ended up finding out some pretty interesting information about them. Like, they make a lot of different models of tires throughout three different lines. They have their regular line of Gladiator tires, which include light truck tires, commercial tires, trailer tires, construction vehicle tires, car tires, and tires for the ATV and side-by-side -side market. Then they have their X-Comp series, which is going to be your high-performance line of on-road and off-road tires like the ones that Wilkie runs. And then they have their Zena line of tires, and Zena has its own line of car and truck tires, and all three of these lines, Gladiator, XComp, and Zena, fall under the main title of API, or American Pacific Industries. Their Gladiator brand of tires is their most prominent brand, and the one that has the largest variety of different tires to choose from, but the one I wanted to focus on the most is the one that relates to our market the most, and that's their XCOMP line of high performance tires. This includes the XCOMP Mud Terrain, XCOMP All Terrain, and their newest model, the XCOMP Extreme Terrain, or XT for short, and fills in the gap between the All Terrain and Mud Terrain tire as a crossover tire. Now, why I wanted to shred, I mean, shed some light on Gladiator XCOMP tires is because there's a few things about them that really stood out to me that I like about them. The obvious one is that they make one hell of a tough tire. Seeing them go through the abuse they went through at King of the Hammers and hold up the way they did is extremely impressive. But I also like the fact that they are an independent tire company that began on the foundation and principles of putting performance first by reverse engineering their tires. And what do I mean by reverse engineering? Well, simple. In our market, they start in the dirt first instead of in an office with a 3D simulator to design their tires. Gladiator is in the off-roading communities across the globe, finding out what all of us want to see out of our tires and then collect all of that data and then go to work building that tire. Once they have the prototypes built, they head back out into the field for rigorous testing and they repeat that process until they have a tire that's going to do what it's supposed to do and hold up to a beating on top of that. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they're the only tire company out there that does that. In fact, I know Kenda Tires does that, Mickey Thompson Tires does that, and there's a handful of other tire companies out there that do that. But it means that you guys have another choice in the grand scheme of things when it comes to picking out your next set of tires that may not cost as much as some of the big dogs out there, but is still going to give you the performance you demand out of a tire and will be a bit easier on the budget as well especially knowing that they do have one of the better warranties across the entire playing field to add to your confidence that these Gladiator XCOMP tires won't let you down. And I'll jump into the warranties in just a little bit and we'll go through the mud terrain, the all terrain, and their newest crossover tire, the hybrid terrain or XT. So then beginning with the Gladiator's most extreme tire and most noticeable tire, the XCOMP MT, I mean this thing is just a brute when it comes to needing a super durable and aggressive tire for your off-road rig. Or even if you just want a tire that just looks like it's going to kick someone's ass as you're driving by them, then the XCOMP is your best choice there. Now the MT is a big headed, big lugged, blocky tire so I would caution you to keep all of your expectations high for off-roading performance but probably not so much for on-road comfort. I'm not saying it's going to be a horrible on-road tire or anything like that, but it is a mud terrain, and mud terrains have a reputation for being a bit noisy on the road, and they're not going to do so well when the roads are covered with snow or ice or even rain, and typically will get even louder as they begin to wear down. So just a few things to keep in mind if you plan on getting the XCOMP mud terrain for your vehicle that often sees road use. And if any of you watching this already have the XCOMP mud trains on your vehicle, I'd be really interested to hear back from you and let us know how you guys like them or don't like them. And then also let us know what vehicle you have them on so that we can give it a fair comparison. That would definitely be greatly appreciated. Now, if you are looking for a great tire for your daily commuter that is going to give you a quiet and comfortable ride, then the XCOMP all-terrain will be the go-to tire there. 
especially if you're not using your vehicle all that often to hit the trails. And I don't say it that way because these all-terrains don't perform well in the dirt. In fact, they actually have quite a lot of off-road traction. But I say that because if you are hitting the trails quite often with your vehicle that also spends a lot of time on the pavement, well, then the Gladiator X-Comp Hybrid is going to be a better choice for that type of scenario. The all-terrain does also have a 50,000 mile treadwear warranty or 55,000 mile treadwear warranty for their passenger size tires and is rated for severe winter driving conditions as it has the Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rated certification. So a great tire for those of you north of the snow belt or really anywhere who are looking for a tire that can handle just about any type of on-road or off-road conditions and still want a tire that rides smooth and quiet on the road. Now, the one that I'm really the most interested in is their newest tire in the XCOMP lineup, and that is their XT model. Although personally, I would have loved to see it designed so that it would have been tested and rated for severe winter driving conditions. But I mean, that's because I'm in Wisconsin and as I'm filming this video, we are literally getting pummeled with a snowstorm. Regardless, this is still going to be a high performer in just about every type of situation you put it through and tame enough on the road that it's not going to seem like it's as aggressive as it looks. And that's because it has a more tightly grouped together center tread pattern and the shoulder lugs don't have huge voids between them because it's your center tread and shoulder blocks that have the most contact with the road. This tire is still going to be fairly well behaved on the pavement. But once you get it off the pavement, it's going to utilize those large lateral voids that are in between the shoulder lugs and the center tread blocks and will offer maximum capabilities when scooping and evacuating that loose dirt, mud, sand, snow, or whatever it is that you'll come in contact with. The tread depth, depending on the size of the tire you go with, does vary from 16 30 seconds to 18 30 seconds, so still giving you a pretty deep tread to also help in giving you plenty of bite and traction through the loose stuff. My only other concern with the tread, other than it's not Three Peak Mountain Snowflake rated, and is also one of its advantages, and that's the large gaps between the lateral tread blocks in between the center tread and shoulder blocks. The concern there is that the base of the tread is going to be more vulnerable because it's exposed to punctures and sharp cuts, being that there isn't any additional protection on the base of the tread to help fend off that kind of potential trail damage. And not saying it's a major concern either, as we all know that anything can happen to any type of tire out in the trails, and sometimes tires with even more closely grouped together tread designs will get punctures. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, we'll see guys with ball tires going ape shit on the rocks or trails over and over again and never even getting a flat tire from cuts or punctures. So more of an observation really, take it with a grain of salt. The XT also comes with a 45,000 mile treadwear warranty and is still pretty good for a hybrid tire. And guys, for all of the detailed information on any of these Gladiator tires, like their specs, prices, sizes, availability, and of course to purchase them, shall you decide to, we'll have a link posted in the description that will bring you right to them on our website at Trailbuilt. And guys, as always, we appreciate all of you for watching and all of your support. I'm Josh from Trailbuilt, and we'll see you guys out on the trails.